interesting. This was an, an interesting story. Very interesting story. Uh, so DK Metcalf has a chance to make the Olympic team. Yes, he is apparently trying out for the 100-meter dash. In fact, there's an event. There's an event uh, at the U.S. Track and Field Golden Games and Distance Open, which is back actually this Sunday in Walnut, California. And Metcalf was listed as one of the participants. In fact, he had kind of hinted at participating in the Olympics a couple days ago. And why did all of this get some buzz? How did he kind of put himself on the map? It's when he had that epic chase down of the Cardinals cornerback, uh, Buda Baker, defensive back Buda Baker, where he sprinted back after a pick almost the entire length of the floor and just prevented the touchdown, the pick six. And he had reached, according to Next Gen Stats, he had reached a peak speed of 22.64 miles per hour. Full stride in DK Metcalf. Now, this is the interesting thing. This is actually not the first time that we've seen NFL players participate at the Olympics. In fact, in the history of both the NFL and the Olympics, there are 40 athletes to have competed in the Olympics that had played in the NFL. 37 played in the Summer Olympics, three competed in the Winter Olympics. Obviously, you think about Jim Thorpe, uh, who at the time was with the Canton Bulldogs in 1912. I wasn't born yet, but Jim Thorpe was an, a tremendous athlete, one of the greatest American athletes ever, won two gold medals. Y you have, you know, Bobby Hayes. Bob Hayes was in there with two gold medals as well. Henry Carr as well won two gold medals. And it's it's really interesting because when you think about some football athletes, we always kind of question how would they stack up towards other athletes, right? We, we look at NBA players as enigmas and really just avatars because they're, they're, they're so much taller than everyone else. There's no way anyone else can replicate what they're doing. But football players are in this interesting position of oftentimes they can be a similar height to you and I but they're absolutely ripped and they're extremely fast, but we never got a chance. And they've got some burners in the NFL, but we never get a chance to really see them play. I mean, even Glenn Davis won three gold medals at the Olympics. Herschel Walker competed in bobsledding in the winter Olympics. And then when we take a look at the summer Olympics and the actual track and field events, there are 14, there were 14 sprinters, in the history of the Olympics of guys that played in the NFL, All right? There are 14 sprinters, Bob Hayes in 1964, won two gold medals and Jim Hines who participated in, in 1956 and 1960. And he also won two gold medals. But the reason why I point those two guys out is because they won at least one gold medal in the 100 meter dash. And now we have a guy in DK Metcalf who if he was to participate, which by the way, in order just to qualify for the team, you have to record a 100 meter dash in 10.05 seconds or less. The record is 9.58 seconds, but you have to record it in under 10.05 seconds just to qualify for the team. And DK Metcalf, here's a guy who is 6'4", 230 pounds absolutely jacked he's a rock he is super strong he just caught a franchise best for seattle 1303 receiving yards last year that was top seven in the nfl 10 receiving catches top 10 in the nfl amongst wide receivers 83 catches last year he was a, he was a pro bowl player he made the pro bowl last year and from a, a purely narrative standpoint this would be absolutely spectacular for dk metcalf to compete in the Olympics would be one of the greatest sports stories this year. It truly would be. Now, I think he's going to be a little bit too big and too strong to be able to reach that, perhaps to qualify. 
But man, he would legitimately be the first real prominent NFL player to pl- to participate in the Olympics since Herschel Walker did it. Because a lot of these other guys, they played sparingly in the NFL. They didn't really have notable NFL careers. This is a guy in DK Metcalf who was making a name for himself. And if he can translate that to the Olympics, again, we'd be looking at NFL players and categorizing them in a different light, in a different way as athletes that we've never done, that we've never heaped this kind of praise on them as athletes as we would this year if he was able to qualify. Be Just again, shows the versatility, tremendous versatility of him, of NFL athletes. It would be an absolute fantastic story uh, to hear. Final topic of the day. 